why am I getting this? Great. Hi, uh, yes, I would like to talk to our representative about some missed payments. Yes, I can hold. Hi, uh, yes, there must be a mistake on my account. Yeah, well, I've made payments on time before, but I got a letter stating that they weren't received. My sister made the payments for the last four months. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her about it. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Nellie. How are you today? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, feeling a little nostalgic, you know, and a little emotional about the day. So, what's going on? Um, it's just like looking at some pictures and writing a little bit, reflecting. You won't believe what Nellie did. She didn't pay any of the mortgage payments for the past four months. I have no idea where that money went. Well, have you talked to her about it? I never see her. It's as if she doesn't even live here. Every time I try to talk to her, she just blows me off. Take a deep breath. She's going through a lot right now. Maybe she's trying to contact her birth parents. Private investigators can be expensive. Well, she never tried to before, so why now? And, and what about me? How come no one ever asks how I'm doing? It's always Nellie. I mean, Nellie always gets a better treatment. I'm stuck in an old stuffy storage room while she gets the big nice room. You know, I just, I'm done trying to keep this family together. Don't worry about it today. Just focus on memories of your mom. Uh, listen, I gotta get back to work. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the memorial. Thank <laughs> you.
Hi, thank you for calling the Crisis Hotline. This is Naomi. How can I help you? I've had a really bad day. <laughs> We're just here. <laughs> Everything I love just slipped out of my hands and I just don't know how to deal with it anymore. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Um, it's... It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, and what's your reason for reaching out today? Today's the anniversary of my mother's death. And my husband. He sent me my divorce papers and it's just a lot going on right now. And How long have you felt this way? A couple of years. young and just never felt like I became my own person. <laughs> my sister's always been the successful one. Everything my mom did was for her. It's like she knew I was gonna fail or something. <laughs> Sometimes I fantasize about what their lives would have been like if I wasn't such a burden. It's just always been poor Nellie. She can't get it right. Anything she touches dies. Have you thought about hurting yourself? Not today, surprisingly. All I want to do is hug my mom. I miss hearing her voice, her presence. I want her to tell me it's going to be all right. Even though I've been told that lie many times, you know, I just... I never thought I would miss her calling me for taking the last cookie. Um, is there anyone else you can reach out to? I only have my sister. Have you tried reaching out to her? We have a complicated relationship. I don't know, she just doesn't understand. Everything comes so easily to her. It doesn't hurt to try. Relationships, they take a lot of work. I don't see eye to eye with my own sister, but... If there was anything I wouldn't do for her if she asked. It just feels so... numb. I don't have anything to look forward to anymore. Nobody prepares you for... When your parents die, especially your mom. I understand. I, uh, I lost my mom as well about a year ago. I guess what gets me through is, uh, just living the memories through her. Do you have any memories of her that you're fond of? Plenty. Just every time I try to relive those moments, it gets really hard to handle, you know? It just feels like this big wave crashing down on me. Why don't you tell me about one of them? Okay. <laughs> I love to do this dance. My sister hated it, but my mom and I would do it together. It was our special dance. 
my mom would have us perform it, like all of her parties that she hosted. <laughs> she thought it was a good idea, you know, a good way to bond. I guess you could say that was one thing I was better at than my sister. Let's get up and dance. I don't know. What? Come on. Are you standing? I'm gonna dance whether you join me or not. Fine. I'm standing. Jeez, you know I'm just like my sister. <laughs> Alright, so what's the first move? Okay, um, so you're gonna step forward with your left foot and you're gonna shimmy. I just, you know, I wish I could relive this moment with my mom and my sister. Things were so much simpler. You know, if I could be my sister right now, I'd tell her I love her. I'd tell her that I, I can't wait to grow old and make new memories with her. You can make new memories with your sister, too. I know things might not seem all that great right now, but... Please think about the positive things. I wish I didn't ever have to give up dancing. It was one of the few things that my mom and I did that made me feel really close to her. Until she couldn't anymore. Hold on a sec. Hello? <laughs> you really made me do that dance. At least I didn't make you wear the tutu. <laughs> Get over here. 